Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I'd be able to send you watches like this to your inbox as soon as tomorrow morning. If you like this watch, you can buy it on thewatchbox.com. Buy, trade, and sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing one of the stars of Basel 2012. This is the Breguet La Tradition 7067 GMT. That's right, it's a dual time tradition. The watch is 40 millimeters across the round of its rose gold case, and on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, that feels like a good size for all of the functionality and style you're getting. The watch is also reasonably slim, considering how much lies within and how deep the dial is. At 12.8 millimeters thick with a generously sloped domed bezel, it will slide underneath any dress cuff. From lug to lug, the watch remains manageable. Fractionally under 50 millimeters lug to lug at 49.9, I believe you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference with no fit or proportion issues. You'll find that the spacing between the lugs is 21 millimeters, should you wish to accessorize with a Breguet or aftermarket strap option, and you can see generally from a distance that the watch fits well on my wrist. The timepiece has a substantial leather strap, as you can see. It is all black, large rectangular scale alligator leather, a semi-gloss finish, a monotone stitch, and as you'll note, a folded edge with a lighter colored calfskin on the underside. This is a brand new Breguet factory strap. You'll also note that the deployant clasp is a handsome piece, richly finished inside and out, offering an extra measure of security and peace of mind while donning or removing at bedside. And the strap is held on by screws, not spring bars. This is the way it should be done on a large, heavy, and expensive watch. When you pay for luxury, you should have absolute peace of mind and security. I give credit to Breguet for making this a standard practice. Now, the timepiece has a handsome case with only a few variations compared to the standard 7027 La Tradition. You'll note that the lugs are finished the same way. They are welded on with all evidence of the soldered joint, then removed by hand. So you have double finish with a coined case blank that's cold rolled, and then hand finished to clean up any residue. Likewise, you have that hand finished joint between the case band and the full polished soldered lug. You will note that there is a pusher adjuster at what would conventionally be about 10 o'clock, and that's used for toggling the second time zone. We may as well get close now that the watch is off the wrist, give ourselves a bit more light, and move over to the crown side. The crown, a handsome Breguet branded piece. It even has a small, as you can see, kerf cut into the case on the bottom side to make access to the crown a little bit easier. Breguet, never forgetting the details. The company masters those inside and out. Breguet, technically, is a legitimate challenger to Patek Philippe. In terms of finish, you could say the same. It's the marketing and perhaps the hype and the imagery of the luxury watch scene where Breguet lags behind. And that's a great thing if you're buying pre-owned. You're getting the quality and you're not paying for the hype. Now, the first thing I want to focus on is that this crown has a screw down functionality so that the second time zone cannot accidentally be toggled by a chance bump. You can see that I am able to move my local time and you see the entire spring-loaded actuating mechanism, so it's a wonderful piece of theater. I'm able to move my local time while my reference time zone, which does feature a day-night indicator, remains static. And then, once I found the proper time, I screw that crown back down, and I am secure against accidental displacement. I did want to let you see the watch start up, but before I do, take a look at that balance. That is anything but a standard component. It's not just free sprung, so highly shock resistant, but it also features variable inertia balance bolts in colored gold for a little bit more theater, just slightly more quality, slightly more of a sensational aesthetic and something you'd only pick up if you hack the movement or let it run down. You'll also note that an overcoil hairspring has been employed, the overcoil hairspring allowing the watch to keep chronometer grade time in any position with respect to gravity, and significantly, it is a Breguet overcoil hairspring, a particular profile invented by the master himself. Finally, you'll note that there is a parachute system, which is a large anachronistic metal spring. It is a shock protection system invented by Abraham Louis Breguet during his lifetime as a pioneering form of shock protection, which would not become common, by the way, in wristwatches until the middle of the 20th century. So this system was way ahead of its time. The parachute system is used by Breguet in the 21st century, simply more interesting to look at 
than an Inca block spring. Now let's wind it up and get it started. This movement beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour, so 3 hertz. You'll also note that it has a very traditional layout with one key exception. Now you have a barrel located at center, so the barrel takes pride of place, and then it drives through secondary wheels to the escape wheel, which you can see rotating way underneath my thumb, and then by means of the lever impulsing the balance. So you can watch the power flow from the center wheel through the train to the balance. Along the way it will turn your local time zone as well as your reference time zone. The finish of the movement is exquisite, though deliberately muted. You could be forgiven for thinking that the watch isn't finished to the same degree as a Patek or Vacheron because the look is so alien to modern wristwatch connoisseurs. But make no mistake, this right here is the caliber 507 DRF. So it's the DR from the standard La Tradition. This is the DRF because it is a dual time. It is outstanding chronometrically precise, adjusted in six positions rather than the standard chronometer five. It goes above and beyond and even gives you a second power reserve scale on the case back. You can see the underlying mechanism as well as a separate scale and indicator on the case back. The timepiece featuring a day, night, or AM, PM indicator where the power reserve would be conventionally on the standard 7027. Now one item that some lose is that you still have mirrored englage at the edge of every bridge. Though you have the frosted or blasted base of the bridges and plates, you also have that mirrored hand-laid rounded optically smooth englage and you have the same treatment in the jewel and screw countersinks. You also have black polished screws so there is no loss of finishing quality despite the unconventional pocket watch inspired finishing aesthetic and for those of you who follow the FP Journe brand you'll also note that the same type of finishing was used on the T30 and the T10 anniversary tourbillon because this is the style of Breguet and that was the style originally taken up by a young FP Journe when he began making pocket watches during the 1980s. On the dial side you'll note that there is one different type of screw, the oxidized screw. You can see one black oxidized on the AM PM indicator with a contrasting polished screw and then two oxidized blued screws on the dial itself fixing the dial in place. The dial is cut with a rose lathe by a guilloche. It is true guilloche that is created with a 19th century engine and cam guidance rather than stamped guilloche and you're looking at a solid gold disc that has been guilloche cut and then silvered to finish it. This is a spectacular timepiece. You can see this dual time and make it yours on our website.